trading account. So what is a trading account? Like we had discussed a trading account tells us what is the gross profit. Now what is a gross profit? It is, it is sales minus purchases. Let us say for example, uh, we trade. Let us say we have a shop where we buy where a shop which sells mobile phones. We buy phones, we sell phones. Let us say we buy phones for rupees 5000 each. This is what we buy for and we sell these phones for rupees maybe 8000 each. Suppose, what does this give us? Per phone we make a profit of rupees 3000. This profit is nothing but the gross profit which is revealed by the trading account. <clears throat> Having made a gross profit, gross profit of 3000 rupees per phone, depending on the number of uh, phones we sell, we have a total gross profit from which we meet our other expenses. We have rent of the shop, we have lighting for the shop, we have telephone charges, we have sales boys, we have a cashier, etc, etc, etc. Total gross profit minus other expenses. These are called operating expenses will then give us the net profit. So gross profit is the profit made comparing the cost of the goods purchased with the sales. Sales minus the direct buying cost of the goods gives us gross profit. We have several other expenses. When we reduce those expenses, the profit we get is net profit, net profit or net loss. <clears throat> so let us understand how we prepare a trading account, how we compute a gross profit, whether by preparing a trading account or by forming an equation. Trading account, <clears throat> equation. So gross profit as we discussed is sales minus the cost of goods sold. In our example, we had 8,000 per phone minus 5,000 per phone. <clears throat> cost of goods sold is computed as opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock plus direct cost. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Now what does this mean? Suppose we have bought 100 mobile phones this month and we sell only 90 phones. In that case, we have 10 phones of closing stock. So how many phones did we buy? Let us forget the opening stock. We bought 100 phones but we were unable to sell 10 phones which means we sold only 90 phones. 90 phones into 3000 is the profit we made per phone. 90, 90 into 3000 gives us a total gross profit of 2,70,000. <clears throat> if we have an opening stock, what is an opening stock? The closing stock of this year, the stock that we were not able to sell in the current year, we will sell in the next year. And the closing stock of today becomes opening stock of the next. So in the next year, we will have an opening stock of 10. Maybe we buy another 150 and we were not able to sell 20. So basically, we would have an opening stock of 10 plus purchases of 150 minus 20 that we did not sell. Totally, we sell 140 phones next year into maybe if the gross profit continues to be 3000, we would make a gross profit of 3000. So cost of goods sold is one, the material plus direct cost. Material means if you are buying and selling, if we are buying and selling mobile phones, mobile phones is the material. The goods, the goods, the opening stock of goods plus purchases, the goods purchased minus closing stock of goods. <clears throat> Plus, we have certain direct costs. Now, what do we mean by direct costs? Direct costs includes all costs which are incurred to buy the 
goods to buy the goods for example carriage inward the cost of carrying the goods and bringing the goods into the shop into the warehouse into the godown wages the wages we pay to the laborers etc connected again with goods being purchased custom duty on purchases transit insurance on purchases so all costs which are incurred in order to purchase the goods in order to bring the goods into the godown of the of the shop of the business or into the shop these are all called direct costs so what is gross profit sales minus cost of goods sold cost of goods sold being opening stock plus purchases minus stock minus closing stock opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock is the is the cost of the goods sold so the cost of goods sold is the opening stock of goods plus purchases those were the goods opening stock of goods plus purchases gives us the total goods which are available for sale minus the closing stock of goods the goods we were not able to sell so that becomes the total cost of goods plus direct cost all costs incurred in order to bring the goods into the shop gross profit establishes the core profitability of the business <clears throat> besides these costs like we said there could be other indirect costs when we have direct costs these are the costs which are directly which which are involved which are concerned with bringing the goods with purchase cost all goods concerned with purchases all goods related directly to the purchase of goods meant for sale and what are our indirect costs other costs like maybe salaries paid to the manager maybe the rent of the premises maybe lighting of the premises telephone charges cashier's uh, salaries and so on and so forth so indirect costs are the administrative costs the selling costs general expenses financing costs if we have taken a loan the interest paid would be a financing cost these indirect costs sometimes are also known as operating costs our gross profit minus the indirect cost actually gives us net profit but when we are concerned with when we are talking about gross profit all we take is direct cost sales revenue earned minus the direct cost of the goods sold that is the purchase cost of the goods purchase cost of the goods sold purchase cost of the goods sold therefore it includes opening stock and excludes closing stock plus direct cost gives us the cost of goods sold <clears throat> let us solve an example if sales revenue are 4 lakhs the cost of goods sold is 3 lakh 10000 and operating expenses are 60000 what is the gross profit what is gross profit in our equation we said gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of goods sold so what is gross profit how much is the sales sales revenue is 4 lakh minus cost of goods sold is 3 lakh 10000 therefore our gross profit should be 90000 if sales revenue 4 lakh cost of goods sold is 3 lakh 10000 and operating expenses are 60000 the gross profit should be 90000 this 90000 less operating expenses of 60 actually 30000 would give us what is called the net profit but gross profit is only concerned with the direct cost of goods sold so we consider only sales revenue less cost of goods sold not the operating expenses <clears throat> let us try one more example opening stock is 8500 purchases are 30500 direct expenses are 5000 indirect expenses are 5200 closing stock 9000 sales 42000 what is the cost of goods sold so what is cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock this is the 
cost of the goods cost of the goods plus i will have all direct expenses direct expenses what is this equal to opening stock is 8500 plus purchases of 30500 minus closing stock where is our closing stock is 9000 this is less 9000 this is the cost of the goods cost of the purchase cost of the goods sold plus we have direct expenses of 5000 what does this give us this gives us 30000 plus 5000 35000 should be the cost of goods sold this is equal to 35000 what is the gross profit gross profit is nothing but sales minus cost of goods sold sales is given to us as 42000 minus 35000 that is equal to 7000 so cost of goods sold 35000 gross profit 7000 this is how we could ascertain the gross profit through the equation what is gross profit sales minus cost of goods sold and what is cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is opening stock of goods plus goods purchased minus the closing stock of goods which you are not able to sell plus direct expenses so sales minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit <clears throat>